so. <laughs> so, what did you think about Solo? As always, we got, we got four generals brewing, helping us out. They are Rhett and local. So we got that, you know, they're next door. I do trivia there, that's kind of our in there. Plus, two years of making the Rencon beer. Year three's making, so we'll see what dreams come true. And uh, as always, we got Emilio. Hey, how's it going? With Rencon. We got my counterpart, who keeps me in line. Egypt over here. The amazingest of the artist and with uh, shows himself, Justin Hunt. Ben Andrews, who really just wants to drink this beverage. He's not here, surprising. He's here for free beer. He's here for the beer. <laughs> like a good start. I'm here for the beer. <laughs> of course, it's more Baratheon than anything. For the beer. we do that cheers yet? Cheers. We should probably do that, yeah. Well, hi, I'm... It's an excuse to drink. I got you to Justin. It is an excuse to drink. Mr. Responsible. Cheers. Of course. Someone has to be. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That the, works. The hazy's good. He's a hazy. The hazy's yeah. always good. I think we can all get behind that one. Yeah. So. I mean, the most important part of why we brought everybody together, we got shows coming out. It's summertime, summer's starting, the kids are just about done with school, and we want to talk about shows and what's going on, and, and the first one on the docket, Washington State Toy and Geek Fest. Absolutely. Uh, June 30th and July 1st down in the uh, Washington State uh, Fair and Event Center, Puyallup, Washington. Um, 200 plus thousand square feet of pure geek and nerd and toy. Um, 500,000 people. Expected. Yeah, minimum, right. minimum. The, it's, the guest list is huge. We've been, we've been sharing Down the, the guest you list. I'm excited. Justin's been really sharing the guest list. Um, the show growing in, in social media popularity yep. every day. It's their second year. Huge show. I mean, who's, who's kind of, we all have our marquee guests. I know me and Egypt have talked about it a lot. Yeah. Um, who's kind of your so marquee for me, guest you're most excited to see? Um, so I've got, I've got, Three or four of them myself. One as a comic book artist, Jim Stranko is going to be there, which is huge. Um, so Stranko will be there. Uh, Peter Mayhew, the original Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah. That, we're not even going to try one that, that one. Pretty yeah. much all yeah. of us. What a rookie! Alone yeah. the Star yeah. Wars exhibit. See we'll if you're paying next, attention yeah. to your comic dads. So even if you shame. don't do anything, if you come there, you got to do it all for the Wookie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, then. Um, I'm a big Kevin Sussman fan. I like Big Bang Theory, so yeah. he'll be there. Nice. And uh, Jay the Muse. owner of the comic shop, Jay Muse will be there. Oh, that's that's, gonna that's be my number one. Oh. It's Snoochies. Jay. Yeah. Muse, if you're not yeah. familiar, it's Jay and Silent Bob. Snoochies. It is the Jay. Uh, he's he's yeah. he's done his own movies, not with Kevin Smith. He's he's his becoming. Own <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Anyways, okay. luckily, I love this is I love this Jason is Muse. This he's hilarious. <laughs> um, it's him and the rest of the comic book men. Most all the comic book men. Yeah, are most coming. all the comic book men. Will be there. As well, be there. Right? Um, the cool thing with Jason is he's a huge Fortnite fan, so he's always live streaming. So um, okay, and so he's a huge Lego co uh, collector. So hint, hint, if you guys want to go see Jason Mewes and you drop some Fortnite words or like, hey, here's some like, Legos. Lego oh, that's stuff. some insider information. So, you need to really hyper focus on yeah. right there. He's a huge Star Wars collector too. Uh, we Big. Were at, uh, yeah. San Diego Comic Con last year. Abby actually was right what? next to him in line. And he, really? yeah, he's like, what are you doing here? Oh, I oh, couldn't sorry. find a runner this year, so I have to get my own Hasbro toys. <laughs> so right there, I was just like, oh, I would have been his runner. I'll be your runner. I'll I'll go, and, Jay, I'm over here anytime you want to go to a <laughs> show and you don't have a runner or think you won't have a runner, the comic dads will come be your be your <laughs> guy doesn't <laughs> run. Hollers for hire. <laughs> run. <laughs> this guy doesn't run. Yeah, <laughs> but I can clear a line like nobody's business. <laughs> Trust me, between <laughs> pushing my way to the front or unleashing a mean fart to clear so, it out, there's well, nothing to. The the other cool part is, um, it's a skill you know, there's there's some <laughs> cool toys right here. Um, there's a reason there's a DeLorean and a, and a Knight Riders kit. Uh, the DeLorean will actually DeLorean time machine is gonna be at the show. Uh, as well as Transformers, Optimus Prime, Onslaught, Galvatron, uh, Galvatron. Kit will be there. Um, one of the Impalas from Supernatural, Jeeps from Jurassic Park. Ooh. And just recently uh, on, our, on our social media, Bumblebee will be there too. So Camaro, the Bumblebee, it's, it's the, the new, new Camaro. Age. New Camaro. Yeah. New Camaro. Yeah. New Camaro. Yeah. putting us yeah. to shame. That's um, what I feel like. But uh, <laughs> then there's, <laughs> there's stuff for kids. It's actually so we have mention, Ben. Um, <laughs> so, uh, bouncy houses so, so for as kids, as all a, kinds of stuff. Yeah, go ahead. As Jump. a car fan, uh, you know, that's why I brought these out. Uh, I'm excited to see Marketing. the cars. Um, 
as a car fan, where what can you or is every owner different? If we could take pictures, or so every owner's different. Um, basically, what we're doing is well, I don't want to say we, but the the owners of the vehicles have opportunities. So you can sit in them or with them. The one with the DeLorean is actually kind of cool. He's got a lot of props from the movies and stuff. And the 66 Batmobile will be there too with tons of props. Oh, um, and that one is to the detail when it comes in, it rumbles. He's got the parachutes on the back, the bat phone in it. It's all cool. Nice. But um, they're all donations. And all the donations that we have are going towards uh, Mary Bridge, the children's hospital in Tacoma. That's awesome. So, awesome. so when you go and you say, hey, I want to get a picture with the DeLorean, the money you put into it is going to a good cause. It's not going there. Um, the only one that's a little different is the Batmobile only cost he's coming from quite a distance. Um, so yeah, you can actually get into them and the people really know their, the vehicles inside out and the history of them. And you know, the guy who owns the kit, uh, you can talk episodes with them and he tells you <laughs> stuff like, you know, that so the, they, that, they, that they know their car. The, uh, the sound supernatural sound car is awesome. It's Mary the Impala. Oh, when I'm you old, open old the back, it's got all the, the, um, replica props that the brothers have in the movie in the tv show oh, in there and nuts. stuff like that I'm, yeah. I watch we that got plenty of supernatural so. fans yeah. so <laughs> yeah so it's and then the other part is we don't have them all in one location they're staggered throughout the the show that's nice so that so even the same with artist alley there's no artist alley the artists are staggered throughout the comic book dealers are staggered throughout the toys there's collectibles um Emilio, I know you're all about toys, so we got a bunch of toy people. You can want to talk to about a couple of them. I know you're excited about a couple coming. Well, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited because uh, Mark Belomo is going to be there, and I'm a huge G.I. Joe guy, can you tell? No, no, no. He wrote this book. <laughs> and this, for all these uh, Joe collectors out there, this is like the Bible for you guys. Like Havoc's in there. I'm, I'm talking about it tells you piece by piece. Of, there you uh, go. If you're a collector. The Moray, how to find the things. M-Bat. So, so to me, meeting the... Uh, Mark is gonna be fun. Like I can't yep. wait. Like to just sit there. And, <laughs> For yeah. me, it's just a trip down Dude, memory lane. Looking through that, all those Joe toys I had. And they're doing panels too. So um, Jordan Humbro, the the toy hunter, and mm -hmm. a bunch of others. That uh, Gus Lopez. He's one of the largest private Star Wars collectors. He actually owns the bikini that uh, Carrie Fisher wore in Return of the Jedi. He's going to be there. So there's a bunch of panels. They're Smith. going to be talking all kinds of stuff. That's thousands. Um, that's so it's, Mind blown. it's, that's Mind why it's called blown. Toy and Geek Fest, right? right? So it's, it's got toys Everything. That, from all different people actually have signed up to display their collections. Um, you got toy vendors, old vent, uh, old toys, new toys, video games, uh, Models, there's Gundam, Magic the Gathering has a tournament there. Uh, it's just the litany list goes on, but I mean, the easiest way to find out is to go to toyandgeekfest.com, get your tickets. They're they're definitely on sale now, and you can get your uh, photograph and autographs. Um, Pre bought. Especially if, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, Chris Sabat and oh, Sean Shemmel. I already Shemmel, saw that. I already saw right? that. Both of them. and I over here hugging each other like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the cool part is when you book it, you're booking a block of time, and that's when you go and sit in the queue, so you're not spending hours and hours. So and it's kind of like the, the the fast pass at Disneyland. It's a way to, to say, I will be here this time. From this time to this through. time, that's when it, you know you yeah. sign up for a Tom Welling photo from noon to 1230. Get there at noon, twelve thirty. That's when you do your photo op with them. So, we try to minimize the the wait in the line. But the other part is, say you want to go meet Tom Welling and you want to go do your photo. When you're done, you can actually pick which photo you want, and then in the afternoon when you schedule your autograph, you can sign the picture of you and him together. But while oh, you're doing that, that's awesome. kids can go out and play in the bouncy houses. There's seven bouncy houses. We got post-apocalyptic laser tag. The, the laser zombies. tag. I know my um, eight-year-old. Um, the the yeah, National sure. Guard is bringing in helicopters and howitzers, and there's going to be robots from the National Guard. So it's it's going to be... a 10-year-old over there. Oh. His <laughs> eyes just yeah. are huge. It's, yeah. it's awesome. Like, yeah. what? When you have a phone in your hand yeah. at that age, you're like, what did you yeah, say? I mean, so when you think <laughs> about it, and, and now for me, uh, well, for you guys, there's there's a beer garden. Um, pub, and then for Which, everybody else, you call there's... call it out, we, we might as well do a cheers. <laughs> so, cheers. Um, but always, for everybody else, there's, uh, you well, know, Justin, there's... you're in this, too. I'll, I'll get my responsible no, no, water my out. Beer is more empty than theirs. Um, we have more. But no, there, there's food vendors right in there. There's plenty of seating for people. Scones. There's over two, yes. Scones. 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 Earthquake burgers, Sorry, I believe, we're finalizing. Turkey legs. You can sit for two, I don't know. 
But you can sit, there are about 200 <laughs> people can sit down and relax, and there's places to relax and enjoy yourself. And it's a two day event, and you know, the parking is free, which is a huge event. You know, you're not going to be for naught on, yeah, on the parking there's part. There's plenty to see. So, well, being plenty to keep you busy. Where you're at with your, and I know you guys hate using the word con, so I hate saying that, but where you guys fest, are at. Geek Fest. With our fest, fest our show, um, the event. What is the one thing that you're the most excited about? Me? Yeah, um, personally, you personally, going to that, even though you're behind the scenes, like what's the thing that's attracting even you that you're like, I if, can't wait for this? Because there's so much of everything, right? So if I wanted to bring my niece, I know that she can go and see something new, or people, you know, I have questions. I have a bunch of Star Wars things. I'm excited to go see those guys too and say, I have this. What is it really? Is it something that is a collectible? Is it not? And see something else and learn a little bit. Um, but I think that as an attendee, this is the show. Um, to really kick off the season. And if you're doing anything else this summer, this is the one you guys want to go to. Yep. Um, there's something for everybody, every geek demographic, every nerdism, every, you know, there's comic book guys, um, Steve Geiger, David Williams, Matt Haley. He did a beautiful um, uh, Wonder Woman 1977, which is back to Linda Carter. It all looks like that. Um, Rich Warner, uh, local from Rent, and he's going to oh, be there. Oh, one of the comic dad's yeah. favorites. Yeah, he's, uh, he's coming Warner. down, oh, so he'll be there. We've done two. We've, we've yeah. done three. Yeah. So yeah, I think three. we've got Rich three times. Teasers. So Teasers. yeah, basically, early answer your question early is, early it's got something for everybody. So at the end of the day, people were, oh, it's not a comic book show. Well, no, it's not. It's not a toy show. It's not a collectible show. It's a collective, so that a family can go in, and when you walk out. Kids can say I had a great time. Mom can say I had a great time. Dad can say I have a great time. So it's a little bit of something for everybody. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we've been hyped since we, we met Justin. We did him for our, our interview at Emerald City Comic Con last year. This Has year. Been, this year? This year? This year. <laughs> Semantics. This year. This year. We're, we're getting too tight into things right now, guys. It was, rainy, it was rainy season. It was rainy season, and now it's summertime. It was it's, like, it's like two different years. So I'm leaving a bad <laughs> review on one of your artists. Uh, I'm sorry, Mistakes were made. Like two months ago. Okay. We've been hyped for this. We've been hyped for this for a long time. Yeah. We've been sharing. If you've, if you've liked our page, if you followed us on, on Facebook, We've been sharing every update we it's see. Not the it's, it's, the, it's not the Puyallup. It's the Washington State we, we Toy learned. and Geek Fest. We learned. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, living in this area, you get ingrained anything in Puyallup. Do the Puyallup. You know, it's ingrained. And it's many. I'm sorry. It's I have right. since been corrected. And we're it's all right. Washington we, State no, Toy We'll still honor Fest. your tickets. It's, it's <laughs> 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 well, that's good. That's right. Turns out money's sorry. still green. Yes. <laughs> The but, day, all things are good. You know, that's that's June, July. Yeah. As we start to turn in sure. the seasons. Yeah, coming up. Move to, to Ren. So, I mean, we're in June. We're talking 15 days till showtime right now. What? Uh, 22. Uh, 22. 22. Oh, yeah, I'm we're jumping three in. Weeks out. Father's Day is next right week. Right around the corner. Yeah. 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 Right around the corner. Three weeks out from the show. Go online, buy some tickets, check it out. You're not Again, stressed where, out at all. Where can we buy tickets online in case we're wondering where to buy tickets? www. or Excuse me, you I almost know? threw I, no, I was gonna send it to the, no, no, I was going to send it to the Facebook page. Um, yeah. Online, it's toyandgeekfest.com, and then if it's Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash toyandgeekfest, and that has all the updates. Um, so there's also a new uh, super fan section on there, too. So That's um, pretty cool. Constantly updating stuff. There's a lot of communication going out. There's a VIP package out for you, Dragon Ballers. Oh, they put a poster out that tried yeah. to encompass I mean, everything yeah. on it sure. that looks amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's June, July. That's coming up in three weeks. Rencon coming up. Rencon's coming up right, 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 after, right, that. right after that. So, what's Rencon? Rencon. This, this right show. After right after that. Rencon. Oh, oh. oh. oh Rencon. 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 It's this friendly little con. So, that we're I've been hearing about this show. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> well, what's Rencon? Rencon. Also, also Here by is. the way, it's, what's it's Rencon? Ben Ren Ren Follow up. Rencon's <laughs> the or, con or, that brought every con together. Or it's true. Change. We might yes. change the name to Rent-A-Con. Rent-A-Con. Rent <laughs> Borrow-Con? Because this year it's in Tequila. But it's not because Tequila stole it, it's because Renton and SeaTac and Tequila and Kent are all starting to go, oh, hey, we can do regional events on the south end. So uh, it's interesting when things like that. Thinking regionally, expanding our, our web, trying to, to jump. Which and means, I can say our, because we, we helped at the year one. We've been around. 
Yeah. We drink family. Yeah. We drink what is here in the Rencon family? Yeah. Yeah. Always Andrew's been talking about it since he had hair. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. That's, that is very we true. All had, we all had hair when Rencon started. Right? Not all of us can say. I mean, I still got it. But September 15th <laughs> and 16th <laughs> in Tukwila yep. at the brand new Hotel Interurban. Inter Interurban, Inter yes. Urban. 19 story luxury hotel. Stones throw away from uh, South Center Mall. And if we're going to talk about Rencon, we got to talk about Rencon. The, the unique the, thing the behind the, behind the scenes we've things about Rencon. Year, the first but be, before we get to that, I would love Ooh. to tell you what's going on in Rencon, and then you can tell sure, them. Sure, you go. Okay. <laughs> See, this is <laughs> why you, you have show one yeah. person. <laughs> you're fucking so, all the time of the so world Ren, my story. So, so for Rencon, <laughs> thank you. This is the best bartender. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, look at he's, that. Hired. He's, that, he's hired. That definitely needs to be like. And, th and this is why maybe Red that could be the intro of our video. <laughs> this is why Redcon works with other conventions because we get yeah. along. Because they pour one happy family. Beer. One happy family. Aww. Aww, so sweet. Aww. My dad's over in the corner. Dad, you want a beer yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what, he's, like, he's like, I've been thirsty. Ooh, oh, I can head these out. Hold on, I can head all these out. Never mind. You're done. Growler empty. All right. Oh, to to Justin. Just throw this. Yeah. Jesus. Aim for glass. <laughs> Aim for glass. There's plenty over there. What can we tell you about Rencon? Well, we can tell you about Rencon. We're still, we're still focusing on local talent, local artists. Uh, we're, although we do bring some fascinating artists to you guys, we are bringing Larry Hama, creator Ooh. of G.I. Joe. Larry Hama. The man. And then we're, bring, we're, we're bringing I'm excited Mateo, Marcel. Which, we're bringing a bunch of Hasbro uh, Hasbro has been. Has, 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 has been. Been. Like, no, no. <laughs> We're shooting for B list. <laughs> no, no. A bunch of Washington. Lower. We don't go at all. Lower, Welcome no, no. to Ren. We're bringing a bunch of uh, ha for Hascon. They're, they're basically the best of Hasbro. You know, we're bringing Marcel, Marcel Mattel, which is from Vancouver, and he does all the top Transformer um, art for Hasbro, concept art. Uh, he's if you're a he's phenomenal. Yeah, if you're yeah. a Transformer guy, it, you'll be blown away from all his art. There's Larry Hama that's going to be there. That's a big one for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty stoked for that yeah, one. I'm not even going to lie. I'm like, hmm. but yeah, even, coming from the guy who doesn't know. And it, seeing my D.A. <laughs> Joe fanboys deep, so you I'm all kinds of sense. the eye. <laughs> well, I mean, and we also, like, oh. not, not only local talent, but we talent from, like, YouTubers, really good YouTubers, like um, Aries, Aries Q. Very good for Variant Comics. Variant Comics. He's the co-host and, or not co-host, but he's also a producer. Producer, yeah. Yeah, he, that's a big name. If you guys have followed him on YouTube, because mm -hmm. you can find him on YouTube. The guy is hilarious. Now, like, you're a DC fan, so I know you're all over him. I'm scared because I'm like, okay, well. Comic Dads are fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, there's a there's a rising lot of tides. <laughs> we don't have to pick specifics. We can all rise. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was good about last. <laughs> and and there's a lot of there's a lot of artists that we still have like Rich Warner too um, that we just mentioned earlier, um, Justin Hunt. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually working on the badges, which I'm pretty yeah. stoked. Ben yeah. Hansen. And so uh, I'll. Well, and you can go ahead and start with your original content because this is where we're going to go to uh, how Rencon is very focused on is if you want to go take, tell them a secret. Yeah. Oh, this is you. This is yeah, all you. No, no, Run with the torch. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, to back this up a little bit, when we started this comic book convention, uh, Brian and Emilio were the two partners uh, that it all just kind of made sense and Emilio has all the connections with everybody in the community especially the vendors and the Honest. artists and uh, Brian if you know Brian well then you know he is cosplay Zach Labs he's, cosplay Zach Labs. he's the master he's like builder a, he's like a yeah a master That's builder true. cosplay prince in this state whatever you want to call <laughs> him him and the rest of his 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 crew yeah. I mean Tobias is always a fun interview and fun to hang out with too with that yeah, Zach Labs does a really good job all their work yeah, is really nice check them out um, also on Instagram at Zach, Zach Labs. Zach Labs. Sure. That makes sense. Yes. Dude, did, did, you, did, did you just see? They we just did some made. prep work. <laughs> yeah, we did. Stormbreaker. Yeah, yeah, he just practice. made the Stormbreaker. Yeah, Which is movie. phenomenal. They to get that was looking He really brought the good. Stormbreaker up to Lilac City, and I saw it, and I talked to him afterwards. I said, 
you guys had it strapped down. So you were like one strap missing from that being over at my booth. <laughs> oh. Maybe it wasn't worth it, so you couldn't pick it up. Yeah, oh. I wasn't. No way. Uh, oh, yeah. I was like, oh gosh, Every that's time terrible. pick it up, the handle said, I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> it should have said Beta Ray Bill, but my comic book peers still sit on that one a little bit more. <clears throat> but you can get one of those prints of Beta Ray Bill and Iron Man for me. <clears throat> yeah. so I've seen one. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm going to throw From this the out art there. of Justin Hunt. At yeah. fine print <laughs> on Instagram, with at Iron Man, Art of Justin old Hunt. school Iron Man and Beta Ray. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep really throwing good. these out all. all the so much here. for your role. So hey, right. now yeah, back to so innovation. Just, back to Ben. <laughs> <laughs> it's never about me. Back to That's Ben. That's the problem. <laughs> back to Ben. <laughs> You're a Stark. You're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a second fiddle. <laughs> but no, uh, seriously, we have. So, so my role uh, in the last, well, the last ten years, I've been heavily involved, especially in the state, in a lot of film productions. And so we had this great idea late last year that we would take a lot of our original guests who were in the movie industry and we'd invite them in. And then we would ask if they wanted to be a part of creating original content. So correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, we are the first comic book convention to create its own original content. Yeah. And we have, uh, Kenneth Calhoun, who was our creature design. He did Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Our lead actor is from uh, Sons of... He had roles in True Detective and Sons of Detective Anarchy. Yeah. Uh, and then, so we have a lot of LA people, but they're all original Rencon guests or attendees. And so we'll be premiering that at the AMC at Westfield Mall, Westfield Mall, which to those of us who have been here forever is will always be South, South Center. Center. South Center. Center. Oh, it will we'll always be the Puyallup Fairgrounds. Puyallup. But I understand. Uh, <laughs> things change. Things yeah, change. Sometimes so people don't. don't. <laughs> so uh, come, get your VIP pass because VIP attendees will get priority to go into that screening, and I think we only have room for 300 in that theater. What yeah. else do VIP people get? Like if I wanted to be a VIP as well as a vendor. Well, are, is, are they things that we can talk about publicly or just in general? That's just a joke. General. He can edit this, too. <laughs> you, can, you can edit this, right? No, like if, if somebody wants not to be a live, VIP, what else could they with. do? I mean, I heard that there's a really cool VIP party. There is. There is, but it's still kind of officially uh, not being discussed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still no, I, was, I will say this. We have, we have other partners coming on board, but Emilio and I... Emilio... Emilio and I... We, we, uh, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to... Is this when, you get, the, is this this when you get a clapboard and stop? <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's not official, but we'll, oh, we'll talk about boy. it anyway, because yeah. I like to talk about unofficial things. There you go. Uh, just don't hold me to Hashtag it when they don't have that. I was just trying to segue. By, uh, I screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> We're being pulled by many directions right now, so it's choosing uh, where the right fit for Rencon would be. But there will be a party. Uh, what I can tell That's the my comic point. dads will be there hosting it. Yes. <laughs> and we throw a party. <laughs> that I can guarantee. So there's saying, there will other be a beautiful breweries in the mix, and they wouldn't replace current sponsors. They would just be in addition to, like I said before, yep. Rising Tide. And uh, all ships. we have a really fancy brewery right next to the hotel. I'll just say it's Oden Brewery. If you're familiar with their beers, their fabulous beers. Which it, Thor's Equinox. Give, give two seconds. Let, let Andrew know. Father's Amber out. Ale. Uh, <laughs> everything is Asgardian. It's so much fun. The, the Baldur's Amber is particularly delicious because you don't get a lot of Amber Ales except for Mac and Jacks around these parts. So everything is Norse mythology. If you're any kind of Norse dork, you this know, the Ragnarok, place. Thor, Odin, Baldur, Heimdall. They've got the whole thing, kit and caboodle, mixed in there. Hella, anything you can want. That one's hella good. And that I'm one is <laughs> hella good. I'm a little bit of, as I uh, enter the later years of my life, I'm a little bit of a hippie slash Buddhist at this point. So I, <laughs> I, I take what the universe throws at me and I absorb it. And if there's any of you that are watching this that have been with Rencon from the beginning, You'll know that Kim Beaton created our seven-foot dragon, who's Which was really epic. the symbol of our convention. Her name's Brienne, and she's this beautiful dragon. And if you look at the logos for Odin, their logo looks exactly very like similar. Brienne. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not exactly, but it's, it's very fitting. It's enough for me to go hmm. And again, unofficially official, which means it's not official at all. 
uh, Brienne may be temporarily parking at Odin Brewery. Ooh. Ooh. So uh, these are all really, really cool things. The, the nice thing about Tequila and South oh. Center, it's funny because we have we've gone through a lot of civic meetings to kind of get this convention there. Uh, and one of the things about the Westfield Mall is it's very millennial friendly. Yeah. Millennials love that mall. Baby boomers, of course, they hate that mall. I get it. <laughs> I feel like but I'm on the cuffs. I don't know how to feel about this mall. I'm us, like, <laughs> we're not playing to baby boomers, are we? Not, not particularly. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be exciting. We're, we've got actually a footprint in the mall. We've got all the businesses around the mall kind of throwing their hat in about how they can cross promote. We just recently got a out of a conversation with Dave and Busters, out yeah. of Auburn. There's just so many exciting things happening. Now we don't have their guest lineup. But, but the comic dads will be there. But the comic dads will be there. <laughs> and I more mean, importantly, Emilio and Ben will be there. And Justin. And Justin. And Justin. All of us will be there. But I got one question on Probably on be just us brand, drinking in the corner. Brand yeah. moving. Is this gonna be moving like the last time we moved Brand? Because that was kind of fun. Nothing like a pallet jack and five people getting er together early in the morning to move a 2,000 pound dragon. And you, oh. How tall are you, Andrew? Like six five, six six. So, I'm sorry, Andrew, you're always gonna be on that list to move. Yeah, no, I got that part. <laughs> so I got just, that just part. To ask so her. yes, we yeah. it's it's a it's an in-house moving. <laughs> Odin doesn't have their own brood squad to move. This is the Rencon when brood squad. When we go yeah. down the list of like our, our Rencon team and we're like strengths and weaknesses, I'm sorry. When it comes to you, moving you're ship. always on the moving ship. Right. Just, <laughs> just, just to add to that, that's the first thing I think I said. Hey, is Andrew's available? Can do, this. <laughs> do you want yeah, to exactly be being great about being the other side of the comic dads thing? No one asked me for any type of moving thing. They're basically like, hey, do you want to drink beer? I'm like, That's the only thing that gotcha. would get them out of bed and out there. All right, I guess. Is there video games there? I just got to click. But, <sighs> I mean, then there's there's Rencon. We're, we're in Tukwila. Yep. September 15th and 16th. Yep. Where can where can folks buy tickets, go online to, to make that dream come true? I think we're sold out. <laughs> You're t no, no con is I like how everybody's out. face looked at you like, wait, what? what? There's always a way to get a ticket. No, Red City that Con. Com. That's where you can find your tickets. And we do have a lot. We're just not talking. <laughs> I mean, we could tell you that uh, Stephen from NASA is coming. Steven Smith's coming back for year oh, three. That guy is awesome. Tell Great Calhoun. interview. There, there's time. a lot. Because it's not about us today. It's morally about our guests, which is... Washington, I disagree. It's toy, about us. and geek fest, and also about. Well, before you Central, jump on the other one, Central? with Central with uh, Rencon, you guys also have a lot of stuff that's science based. Yeah. yeah. Which is really cool for people, because the geek culture is not just necessarily a toy. So mm -hmm. I'm actually excited for some of those guests that you have to sneak away from my booth to go to those panels. And that and that was one of the things when yeah. we when we talked at the beginning, we wanted to have a little bit of everything, like like some toy, some sci-fi, some actual science becoming, some science fiction becoming real science. And, but and the cool thing about Rencon, when I hear Rencon, I hear all this stuff, but cosplay really jumps to mind at Rencon. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're yeah. I mean, really leading the job, charge though. on Zach Labs. We've got some of the best cosplayers yeah. really yeah. all over the country now coming in. Yeah. When you, well, and you have the museum, right? Well, um, yes, the, uh, well, we, what museum. do we call it? Cosplay, cosplay carousel, don't we, or something like that? <laughs> but sure, let's call it the museum. So this, so our footprint in the mall, which is actually an inline store, will have the cosplay museum for a couple months before the convention. So for the for that weekend, I think there's a hundred thousand people to walk through the Westfield Mall. But we're gonna have it's for. That was too great. I'm sorry. That's the only reason just, people keep oh me around God. for. Did you see my brain yeah. go? Wait, oh, like, did I just mess up? No, 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 no I didn't. Do you know how hard it is to take Ben off track? Yeah, I did it. Not. It's not. For the record, that's the third time tonight. Yeah. At this point, what are we? What are we really testing? It's the beer. <laughs> so, so, Cosplay right, Museum yes. will be <laughs> in the mall. In the mall. Oh, and then there's two months ahead of time. Should we tell them about the digital stuff? I was checking them out today. They're cool. Right? Yeah, uh, there, there's a lot. So, like, I don't even there's know how to explain there's the a digital lot. marketing. I mean, it, when it comes us. to cosplay, we, we have a real 
great lineup on cosplayers. Uh, I mean, one of our first attendees, attendees, Foam Friction Cosplay yeah, yeah. from Canada from came Canada. in. One of our the favorites. next year, they were judges, and, and Murray and the family, they are great. And I mean, they've they've What's displayed their Facebook, the show. By the way, let everybody know. Foam you, Friction, Foam Friction Cosplay. Cosplay. And yeah. I think that's the same thing with their Instagram. Mm -hmm. Foam yeah. Friction, go yeah. find them. They're seriously some of the best builders I've seen in a long yeah. time. Jackie Craft is coming. I mean, yeah. we. Well, and that's one thing I, I think is important to mention. And one thing that we really wanted to do when we first started RenCon was create community, right? And so we have a lot of guests that come back. The most important. Well, I wouldn't say, yeah, it's, it's like a number two. Like the most important thing <laughs> for us is that everybody who comes to our convention has a really great experience, not just our attendees, but our guests. Yeah. That's obviously important for everybody. But what we did this year that I loved, and I think it's a, a trend that we're going to continue is we did the, in January, we did what we called kick off the cons party. That was awesome. Yeah? And we invited all the conventions that wanted to come Sorry. to be a part of it. And there was at least seven or eight of them. And... Uh, we started having discussions like you'll see a lot of them in our program here soon you're gonna see our our community page go up where we talk about the conventions that we love and there these guys will be on there and several other conventions will be on there. Northwest and Con was there, Kobe Con was there, uh, Crypticon. 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 Crypticon, which I love you Crypticon, <laughs> Sorry I couldn't make it, life ruled over me on that weekend. You gotta listen to oh, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Uh, and what is it with the, the way, Washington State Renaissance Fair? The Renaissance, 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 Renaissance Fair, Fair was there. Yeah, uh, I even think Lake the, City Toy Show we my started. Little Pony. Shout out what? to what? My Little Pony. My Little Pony. Yeah, My Little Pony. Yeah, that's, so. that's a real thing. That's a real thing. It's not oh. called that. It's I gotta go that. to that. I did a cover of My Little Pony fighting a Smurf, and one was Carnage, and one was Venom. Nice. Classic. This is why you're friends with comic book artists. They do some amazing crossovers. Really, really engaging with. Uh, the community help. Um, yeah. Stormtrooper cleanups set, coming up. Central City Comic Con, yes. which is a, where we met another help, and now uh, with our guests that we use one year, of course you can't bring them the next year to build that momentum. Now they have them at their convention, mm -hmm. and we were happy to be share to share that contact list. The contact know. list, which a lot of us, when we first start a convention, we don't know where to start with this. Yeah. It's, it's straight scratch. But if we can help each other. And, grow. and people don't want to share, and we get it. Yeah. And we get it. But, I mean, the nice thing about changing. that is, is with a lot of these celebrities, a lot of times, they're booked six months, eight months ahead of time. So while they might not be able to make one show, if they can make it back to the area, that's good for everyone in the area. Not just not just one con. It's good for for everyone, the fans, the the guests, everything. You know, they still get to come to an area, keep their name in people's heads as someone out and about. Yeah. And Especially every show has something unique that the other show doesn't have. You know, there's always this, this litmus of something that's always the same in continuity between conventions. But then, like, <clears throat> Rencon is really the exclusive with a new movie. That's that's awesome. You know, they have the, the museum for all the cosplay. And last year, I was infatuated by that. Because when cosplayers are out walking around, you just see it and it's gone. But when it's there and you can appreciate all the time and the labor that goes into some of that, um, you know, Washington State Toy and Geek Fest has got unique stuff. Central City has unique yeah. stuff. Kobe Con has a uniqueness to it. Mm -hmm. But like you said, Emilio, when we talked about it before and you said, hey, come over, let's work together as a collective. The reality is this whole thing is just a giant family and everybody wears a different hat. But Cheers. at the end of the day, Cheers. if you look, your attendees, <laughs> they're a lot of the same yeah, around, right? Right? Yeah, That's even right. even vendors, right? Vendors, yeah. you're like, oh hey, man, how's it going? It's like, oh hey, we're, you know, yeah. we're, we're all, seeing you again. <laughs> yeah, we're all a big family, so why not pull the strings? Share the love, make it happen. So two important things. One, you guys are making me feel like an alcoholic because <laughs> you <drinking>. are. <laughs> I've been trying to slow down for everybody else. I'm sitting here looking at. What, if you notice, watch the camera. I haven't taken my hand off the beer. <laughs> it's like my joystick. I'm like, conversation. Hey, 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 edit that, please. And the, <laughs> and the second one is, I got to go. So is there a cut button here? There is now. All right. And we're not, are we Facebook-living anymore? No, no, no. No, no. We're, we're not Facebook-living. This is cut. Cut. You're good.
You're good. You, you can just walk out. <laughs> you can yeah. chug it and go. Black Alicia. I need to bring civilians across the camp. Yeah, you're actually, fine. Actually, actually, just to let you know, none of that was recorded. That was our warm-up. When you leave, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a warm-up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the second girl comes out then, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. You, that better not be you. There's like <laughs> 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 Thank you, Ben. Uh, Thank you, Ben. That was fun. Right. Do this more. Central City's next. Right. All right, Central City's next. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. Oh, there you I go. know how it works. <laughs> Upgrading. All right. All right. Ready? Should, Should we talk about something? Hold on. We got to wait. Coming through. Hey, thank you. you. See ya. Abercadabra. Xander. Xander. We'll see you later. See ya. See ya. See, see ya, Xander. So. We're we're down one Ben, but that's that's fine. We still got one more show to talk to. Ben there done that. Ben there done that. <laughs> <laughs> These puns don't get better. That's a good reminder. We will be doing the Comic Dad's Father's Day joke off next weekend. Be ready for some terrible jokes it's that should be make you laugh. Really bad. Like so essentially Andrew and I were like, Hey, let's do a dad joke off. Bad idea because instantly I was like, Well, who's gonna be on my team? He's like, Well me. We no. can't be on the same team, so <laughs> no. we're not going to be on the same team. So I go and grab my buddy who's great at writing jokes. Like, this guy is a guy who spends time on Reddit. Prof- he's a professional dad joke artist. Oh, like, man. I've worked with him. He's, he's, he's good. good. He's good in a pinch. He's good in a pinch, real good. Huh. So once I tell him who my teammate is, this guy goes out and gets an actual comedian to do dad jokes. I know comedians. What do you want from me? And I offered to trade. I was willing to trade so Morgan for Chad. So the comic dad's Emilio and <laughs> Egypt over here. I was willing to trade Morgan for Chaz, but somebody did, I thought it would be more fair. I got faith. I got but faith he has Chaz. faith that he's going to win. So tune in to watch me and Morgan crush Chaz and Egypt. So they'll be laughing on the floor. It'll we be game side bets? We can do side, side bets. bets. Side bets. Side bets. Hey, side bets. We'll, we'll come up with those. But We'll, we'll actually pull it on our Facebook. Is yeah. that legal? It's we can fine. do a poll. If it's not legal, it sure is fun. You can yeah, do a poll right? on Facebook. We can do a poll. We, we'll do a poll. We'll make this happen. And we got one more con. Central City Con. Towards yeah. the end of the season. Central City Comic Con is down in Ellensburg. It's October 12th and 13th. Um, the they can't make it here because the people who run it, Jamie Burns and her crew, they're coming from Yakima. Um, but uh, I know a little something that's going on in there. So this year, what's cool is they moved it from Yakima to Ellensburg, which is great for everybody out there because it's on I ninety. It's on I ninety. It's, it's easy to get to. It's and it's dead center of October. So the cool part is all the people who are in class don't We're have gone. to go anywhere. It's no, right there. It's right there. Yeah. So they have a lot of lot of space. Um, they're doing it at a fairgrounds there, um, but they they're bringing in and and today they're they're going to be announcing uh, later on today, Jason Font. Uh, yeah. Power Rangers nice. and we, we, Michelle Harrison. I love are, that whole group the of people. Uh, first two to. El- the, can I stop you? Yeah, there? go Ellensburg, ahead. You're not ready for Jason Font. <laughs> okay. oh, Jason Font. Be having, having hung out with some Siwoo Wildcats, they'll be just fine. Yeah. No. They'll, they'll, they'll all say. be in good yeah. hands. Yeah. Might I suggest <laughs> the yeah. horseshoe? Yeah, make sure you keep those bars open. Yeah, yes. they'll, they'll be open. Jason has worry. already indicated there will be a party atmosphere Saturday night. Uh, um, and since Jason, I will be out there, there surprise, there I'll have a booth. But I will be out there with, <laughs> I be out there with Jason. Here. But um, we, don't worry. Jason's Jason's a big guy. Um, yeah, he's super so, swole. He, oh, you know, he is. Well, he, he is really but, And he never wears red. He wears like beige and browns. And, and, and all. blues. Yes. Every time I've seen him, he's yeah. in blue. I'm like, yeah. okay, Billy. But he's. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Font. I know you follow us on Instagram. That one's specifically for you. But, uh, but yeah, and Michelle Harrison. And the great part is uh, Emilio was able to provide the contact information. And then it was just a phone call. And, hey, what are you guys doing? And we actually, actually, you guys had the Comic Dads after party at. Emerald City, and I was able to meet them and hang out with Jason and Steve. Which was a great party. It was that a was great a party. It's all about bringing I, people I, together. I, I Those are the best say, pizzas the best. in the state of Washington. <laughs> oh my God. Um, we and I'm an East those. Coaster. Yeah, and that's, so, I'm you. an East Get Coaster. You. East so, I, I couldn't tell you where we got those pizzas from. All I know is that. Then you show up. 
when you're when you're nice to people, things show up. That's also, all I can tell. Also, we realized that Actually, con- thanks, thanks to those uh, pizzas, and then, now we have contact with CBCS because uh-huh. <laughs> they donated. Them. Yeah. Well, so, and the thing is, yeah, and I'm I'm friends with Steve Borak over at CBCS. But yeah. uh, oh, the the president, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I met but, him. Uh, he, he was. He's a cool guy. He yeah. was. I'm, I, so him and I were talking. I was he's like, "Yeah, you're gonna bet." He's a New Yorker. Like, you want some pizzas? And he's I was just like, yorker. "Yeah." I was That's like, how you got yeah. 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 This pizza, like, no joke. Like, I know we're sideways. They were a good twenty-eight like, inch pizza. <laughs> big pizzas. So on the east Eight coast. Yeah, but see, on the east coast, when we get a, a pie, you know, pizza, it's a pie, right? Pie. You know, we order pie. You guys like, I'm gonna have a large pie, and it's like this. I'm like, yeah, it's an appetizer, my friend. (laughs) Like, your slice should be as big as your baby. That's a pizza. (laughs) Um, But anyway, so that was great. Jason Font, Michelle Michelle Harrison. Harrison. They have some others that they can't announce yet. They are working on them. I will tell you that they are they are a listers. They're working on some sponsors right now. But their website is up and running. Tickets are available already. It's Central City Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, they have a Facebook page as well. They last year they did a great job. There's a VIP party. They they had a kickoff party with a band, um, and then their their hosts that go around and help are super um, they're super friendly and they pay attention to what a vendor needs and what an attendee needs. It doesn't give you that feel of like being rushed or being followed almost. It's, it's no, a comforting well, they, feeling, right? Like so a lot of shows that I've been to. Um, as a vendor, as an artist, big shows, big shows. You, you, they, they wine and dine you, and then you pay for it, and then the day of the show comes, and then the next time you hear from them is they're passing out paper saying, "Do you want to come back next year?" Um, yeah. But one of the great things I even this is why I told Emilio that Renton Con was one of my most fun shows, and that was last year, and I had a blast because they were coming around. Do you need anything? Are you being taken care of? Thank you. You know, um, which was really great. So Central City has that same atmosphere of let's take care of the people. And the great part about that is in October, there's really nothing else going on. But shoot over to Ellensburg from here. It's two hours Mm -hmm. Um, from Yakima. It's or Yakima or Yakima. I still get yelled at no matter how I say it. Um, Yakima, (laughs) Sila. But uh, it's a 30 minute drive. If you drive like I do from Spokane slash Spokane, depending if you make it a long. Um, That is a two and a half hour drive. Two, two episodes of Cobra Kai, that's what I did on my way over there. There you go, yeah. <laughs> You'll get there. But Done. it is, it's, it's dead center, lots of parking, lots of... Um, yes, Miss Aaron? There's also Oktoberfest in Wenatchee, which is not that far. Oh, Ooh. if you're knocking on both the doors oh. at the same time. Wow. Yeah, Leavenworth, Wenatchee. This is why we keep him around. The chair <laughs> festivals in September. As you can see, I know all around. about Oktoberfest because yeah, I'm the heavy man. drinker here. Yeah. Oktoberfest. Um, but... Uh, it's a great location. They will have more information as it comes out. They are they're biting at the teeth, and they are. I talked to Jamie. She's a producer, um, and she is super excited to be part of the group, working with RenCon and Washington State Toy and Geek and Kobecon, um, and looking at growing as a show over the next couple of years. So they also go by instead of saying Central City Comic Con, they go by C4. Because Ooh, it's an, I like that. Because it's explosive. Trying to hold yeah. your hand over. So it's kind of cool. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. So That's C4 cool. will be exploding in October. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I and, like that. I cool, mean, right? Ellensburg. Did you just come up with that, or is that? Or, oh, oh, I see what you did there. Oh, Ellensburg is a fun city. <laughs> yeah. As 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 a a cougar from Pullman, everyone gives you know Seattle the big city love and vibe. Ellensburg is a fun city. There's a lot of good spots to go out at night. There's some good restaurants, some good places. So I have to get past the Flying J. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be fine. P- pizza calling is there. That's Ellens- my Ellensburg is awesome. You'll Ooh, have fun calling. if you go out and that plus way. Plus all the breweries and wineries out Iron there. Iron Horses out there. There's a lot of options. Uh, down in Yakima, you wineries. got. You got. I'm driving to another hour. I'm One- Church Vineyard. <laughs> <laughs> We're just throwing all kinds of advertisement out here. But will I mean, the comic dads be there? The comic dads can probably make a trip to Ellensburg. I'll tell you what, that's going to be a fun one. If he gets, if he, uh, if I, I will he tell gets you that, spousal let, approval. I'm going to tell you this I look much. like a runway. I'm waiting for those lights to be like, you're good, uh, just I, go. I can tell you go. this much. I can tell you this much. When they do announce one of their next one or two people. You'll want to be there. You'll want to be there. 
Okay, so oh. are, which one of you guys are buying me a doghouse? See, see, I know. <laughs> <laughs> when, when he gets spousal approval, yeah. we'll what, commit the comic dad's going can to tell you, What I can tell you is I was talking to Font, and he is going to try to sneak out to our winery. Oh, yeah. Because Font is a huge wine. He's a huge wino. 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 <laughs> so, little backstory. Power of wino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, red wine. Red wine. <laughs> red, red, the, the Red Ranger likes red wine. He hmm. turns into a UB40 song? <laughs> Red, red wine. <laughs> but yes, I, I'm, I'm He's got a little red Corvette when he's, he's going to be so too. mad when he actually watches this episode. He's like, dude, you guys spent 45 minutes talking about me. Let's call him. <laughs> Let's call him. <laughs> no. Let's call him. <laughs> but, so yeah, I mean, so that's your whole summer lined up into fall. I mean, you've got. Uh, and then right after that, you seal it off with the World Series when the Yankees win, we're done. Uh, uh, Mariners. I got me. fifty Sorry, bucks for the Cardinals. If my card, if my Redbirds come through on me, that's a free trip. You want to do Vegas. some push-ups on this one again? Well, I'll throw down some bets. You know we'll, how we'll talk when playoffs okay. start. No, we'll it's not even the All Star game. Nobody really is paying that much attention to baseball right now. <laughs> Other than Seattle fans. Yeah, don't worry, they'll falter. It's the <laughs> They're Mariners. in first, right? It's, yes, it's, yes we are. It's the Mariners. They'll Isn't, falter. Yeah, don't worry. Give it about half a season. We're not at the All Star break yet. <laughs> it's okay. Seahawks are going down. Mariners right. going up. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I'm like, what is oh, this, the we're the 90s? new. We're the new Browns. <laughs> what is this? The what? 90s? Come on, pull it together. As a quick highlight for everything, I, I'm, one thing I'm excited. Uh, Toy Geek Fest. There's just so much to do. Um, I'm just gonna live uh, exact change only on my booth. <laughs> and, <laughs> and if, if any of the comic book men yeah. want by, they'll appreciate it. If you plan on and shoplifting, all my money's gonna go to all the descendants because my kids are like nuts over it and. Com- comic book? Oh, and there's, com- com- yeah, there's the Payton List yeah. and Drake Bell. So, yeah. oh and that's the thing. We have, my pockets are done. The fans are, the, the celebrity list covers different age yeah. demographics and yeah. stuff like that. Your celebrity list makes me nauseous. So, I, I don't want to say. I, I'm overwhelmed looking at we, it. You know, it's, it's not mine, it's the collectors, right? But, yeah, but okay, here's fine. a cool thing, too. I was trying too, to make right? you look cooler, bro. No, Come no, on. I'm yeah. good. The royal we. The, the thing, is, yeah, the proverbial we. <laughs> um, but uh, the cast from Z Nation, which is shot in Spokane, mm-hmm. is coming out. Which That's was, awesome. Uh, which we, I don't know if a lot of people know, but did but you know had Ben it. was in Z Nation? No, that I didn't. was the weirdest uh, thing I've ever how, seen. So that's how we were able to get Z Nation. Yeah. Ben, oh wow. Ben has a couple. Lines now that on Ben's Z gone, we can talk crap about yeah. him behind his back. Yeah. So I'm watching <laughs> Z Nation, and no joke, I'm on like the first season, eight episodes in, oh, and who no joke. Was he? Which oh, picture? no, check this out. I'm li- Literally, I'm like, it. there's a girl that walks into the bar, like, all sexy-like. And oh, is that with the gun the gun Friends contest the where they're doing And he, he swirls in the chair. He's like, ah, uh, who's that over there? Yeah, but I'm saying and, the bar. And I was just like, <laughs> that looks like Ben. And I was like, I paused the movie, and I was like, that's freaking Ben. But the bar is where they're doing the gun thing, right? So yes. so 10K can try to compete against the chick for yeah. the... Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. I remember he's that scene. He's red flannel, like an all hillbilly now. He's, I'm gonna have to he's, go, he's redneck yacht. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to have to go back and like freeze frame, print that, and be like, can you sign this? <laughs> well, <laughs> ah, there you well, go. If you really no, 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 no. want to do there. something with Ben. We're going there. Star, Star Trek, Trek Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay, it's Star Trek. Yes. What's that? Star- On oh. YouTube, there's a, fan, there's a fan show made for YouTube called Star Trek Phoenix. Is so that the got- one that's shot in the East Coast where the guy built everything? Maybe. It he actually, there was a guy on the East Coast. He he was such a fan. He built the bridge of the Enterprise. Then he started building all the other sets oh, based on. Was, oh, it's, it's not, it's not, not original stuff. stuff. This is its own. Yeah, this is actual. This is oh. this is like Discovery only fan made. Okay. So yeah, it's Star Trek and, Phoenix. Go check it out. You want to print some good <laughs> pictures of Ben? There's he's, some he's good pictures. Captain right. of the ship. So I'm oh. excited with that. On really? Wait for the it. Toy and Geek Fest. And now we're gonna go to Rencon. <laughs> like, for Rencon, I'm excited to meet Larry Hama, Marcelo. Um, and then all the other fun stuff that we're not talking about because it's not Ram about Ram going to be big this year. And like, for Central is... City Comic Con, I actually knew a little bit of it, so I will see you guys there. <laughs> that was very <laughs> fun. I mean, so we're talking June 30th, July 1st for yeah. Washington State Toy and Geek Fest. 20 something days out. 20 something days out as of shooting right now. We've got uh, Rencon in Tukwila, September 15th and 16th at the Hotel Inner Urban. And we have Central City Comic Con in Ellensburg, October 13th and 14th. 12th and 13th? 12th and 13th. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Yep. 
So with a out. kickoff party that Friday. Typically they do one, and I don't see them not doing one. That's a party in atmosphere out there. It's Ellensburg. Yeah. It's Ellensburg. If you, if you know anything about Ellensburg, you know the now, Wildcats. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, so I've done it at a couple of my shows, and I think it would be a great one to do at Rencon. So I know Friday night is usually a party or whatever. But um, prior to that, I think I would like to see about hosting a, a drink and draw where a bunch of artists and non-artists can get together and the artists basically we just pass around stuff and we hold challenge accepted the same piece. i got you okay challenge accepted. <laughs> so now uh, it's me versus justin, justin, justin <laughs> for, for drinking or drawing i think you're screwed either well, way justin doesn't just... know it's going to be in a facility where it's going to be a lot of fun so if he's bringing drinking there now uh, he oh. is done well, typically when we go, it's drink and draw, and by the end, they're, they're all drunk, and I'm the only one drawing. <laughs> so I'm drinking iced tea, and they're like, oh, are you, and my pictures are getting better, and theirs are getting like. <laughs> <laughs> Picasso's early so, work. Oh, definitely yeah. abstract <laughs> art. <laughs> there's an ear just the on top of the head. Where the VIP, there's, there'll be enough, there'll be places where you can put tables, I can tell you that much. I'm super excited. But so. see, I like that part because it's usually the, the artwork when it's done, sometimes it gets raffled off for a charity or whatever like that. But it's cool because it's it's an intimate setting that people who aren't artists or can't get to that part can come over and just watch. And it's really cool. Um, this last one, I did a cover sketch and then Jason Metcalf did some. Russ Richards yes. added it. Keith Tucker's gonna add to it. I'm gonna grab Rich Werner to add to this Keith one. Tucker's I'm coming to Wait, Rencon. you're taking all of these it's that's all in like, one cover. I feel like that's yeah. the comic dad's realm of people we just interview sporadically. I'm well, like, I just hold on, we hold all, on. Yeah, but I mean, Rich and Keith, we all shared a couch in Emerald City, right? Yeah, that is that true. That is true. I forgot okay. about that. Yeah. I wasn't there for Emerald City this year. No, but at our party. You, at you our were party. At our party. You were, at you were party. interviewing. You interviewed at me. At our party. Do you remember? At Emerald City. What kind of? What kind of life? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But well, that's what I'm saying. You were there. We shared the couch on the interview okay. process. <laughs> that's. Not a casting couch. Sebastian was there. I was thinking actual Emerald City. It went, on. Well, that's where my brain went, not after party. Sorry. Sorry. But sorry, it sorry. wouldn't be Comic Dads related if we didn't talk about something nerdy besides all these cons, which check out the cons. We've given you the contact information. We've given you the dates. We don't know how many times. We'll tag it in all the posts. It's tagged. It's going to be You'll easy to find. It. Something nerdy. Solo. Deadpool 2 or Solo? Ooh. I, I actually walked out of Deadpool let's, 2 today, <gasps> but well, let's, let's just go with Solo. Solo. Let's, let's, let's go to solo. solo. I will go ahead and, and on the record, this is like the most Still embarrassing. Still hasn't seen it because he sucks at life. I guess you could say I'm Solo. <laughs> you haven't seen Solo? No. Ooh, I, know. Uh, I know. No, but we've already done our review of it, so I talked about Solo. And I know he all kind the of spoilers. Listened. He knows all the spoilers, which he knew them all before I even went to see it because he can't. I Not, can't help myself. It was if I good. see spoiler online, I'm like, ooh, I'm Actually, so I weak. think we talked about it when I was driving out the lilac. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And you asked me, you were like, have you seen it? I was like, no. You were like, I almost hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Just throws up. his phone out the window, Shut like, up. I'm done with these guys. He deserves it. Who is this? Can I talk to the real Giovanni? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I mean, I liked it. I mm. liked seeing, my, one of my favorite parts was seeing the Millennium Falcon devolve throughout <laughs> Throughout the movie, it's this nice, pretty thing that Lando's proud of. Especially when Lando takes off. And then you're and like, then, oh, that's how it gets like that. And then, oh. and then Han has it for one trip through the Kessel Run. Yeah. Totally <laughs> fine. Well, into a shit show. Lando even had the sign the, when he's, he's taking apart uh, L3, he's like, this is why nobody flies your ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah there, was, there was some nice moments the, for sure. So, me not watching the movie and me not caring about spoilers, and honestly, if you guys haven't seen the movie at this point, you're this, on your own. This is on you. Like, <laughs> I'm a spoiler king, so I don't care. So, this is your one and only warning. Where the. How, how edited is this? Where the fuck does Darth Maul come from? Mind it's a gray blown. area. Mind it depends blown. if you, it, it depends you, if you watch, watch the, the cartoons. cartoons? You gotta watch the Rebels. Because Rebels, yeah, you gotta watch Rebels. Has it touches on Rebels. But is it, is it robotic? It. Is it robotic mall? It, you can't yes. really tell. Yes. It no, looks that way. When he stands yeah, up, it's you robotic. can damn sure see okay. his legs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, mall. that and makes more here's sense. Here's the cool part, and here's the tie in, though. Ray Park played him in this one, but at the end, it doesn't say Darth Maul, it says Maul. But the other part is the guy who did the voice for him in this. So in the original oh one, it was yeah. voiced by somebody else, but the guy who voiced him in this is the same Boy, one who voiced cartoon. him in the cartoons. Yeah. So there's which nice ties that continuity, it, so the I voice like that. It so. makes it smooth, and like yeah. when you hear that voice, if you're a fan of the show, you hear that voice, and you see the movie, you're like, oh my that god. That was the quietest part of the whole, <laughs> the whole movie. Everybody's watching, and all of a sudden, you saw the shadow, and you're like, oh, what's that? When it panned, the whole audience went, oh. 
Well, like that, there was, you could hear nothing. I mean, <laughs> what's, what's the gang? Crimson Dynamo or whatever? Crimson. Cr- Crimson Tide. Crimson. Crimson Tide? Yeah. Roll Tide Roll. This is Alabama. <laughs> I'm like, no, this is an Alabama. Crimson Dawn. Why did he get that smirk where he's yeah. like, Roll Tide Roll. He just Crimson. walked right into it's, this. It's, it's the Crimson Dawn. Like, and, and you knew there had to be something that way. Like, like you, you figured, you know, you had his brother in, in uh, Clone Wars. You know, you figured you could have someone of the species take the reins. But to have Darth Maul actually pop up. With the double bladed lightsaber, that is the which was thing I've a heard new one, which is a new one because yeah, he yeah, lost little, his. Yeah, I mean his his hate kept him alive, but he's, but he he's lost. half the man he used to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they made a song about that, I think, in the nineties. <laughs> but I mean, there's I a, can't feel my feet when I'm. <laughs> around. That, that, that sounds face, more like I, that I, sounds I, more like I the couldn't. Yoda with the seagulls. <laughs> 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 that was the best. But I, I mean, no what was what was kind of your I favorite part of Solo? Um, no for race. me, um, <laughs> well, I honestly I went in thinking expecting a six and a half, and I walked out with a solid eight and a half on my thing. Um, I like I like the whole train scene because I'm, you know, I'm an older kind of generation. Far as I'm in my mid forties, so I grew up watching the westerns. Mm-hmm. So for me, um, the whole train scene just was reminiscent of the cowboys are going to steal this stuff. The it's heist. a stagecoach, yeah. and then. When the, the cloud swoopers come in, it was great because I was like, oh, they're riding in on the horses. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. I had a feel, but I'm also a big Star Wars comic collector. So Star Wars comic number nine, Han Solo faced off against the cloud riders. And when um, Ron Howard was doing this, he actually incorporated from the comic into this. And that's how they became about. So I was like, great, they're tying comics into, into the, but the whole dynamics of we have to do this and here's the timing and Here's how Solo can demonstrate I am a good pilot, and you lose John Favreau, and so the that whole scene was uh-huh. probably my favorite. And then when the mountain imploded, yeah, that I was just like, that's some serious They were playing stuff, with some, right? some yeah. like yeah. that's a, here, catch this. Oh, no, hell no, you hold on to it. <laughs> I don't yeah. want any of that yeah. fusion yeah. stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. So it was crazy, and that, I mean, that I really like that train scene because it did. It felt like I was playing every. Western video game ever where you, there's always something on a train, you know, yeah. and you got to run across. And, and those magnetic boots? On yeah. The yeah. That, that was, was cool, that man. That was really so, yeah. bad. How about you? Me? Um, besides that scene, uh, here's the downer. Oh. I felt like Solo was softer. Yeah. He should have been more like... like he, he wasn't scoundrel enough for me either. Yeah, he wasn't shady enough for me. Yeah, my most disappointing scene that goes along with that is when he freed Chewbacca. I was like, that's not that's, solo that's, that's 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 you know, how my you whole, it? yeah, but yeah, my whole thought was like they were all gonna be chain ganged and all this other stuff, and he's come in and just like swashbuckler and right, and then it was just like he got his believe. ass kicked by Chewbacca, and then, and then he can tuck. He's like, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot, because there, there was a lot of, there's a lot of, yeah. there's a lot of like, oh no, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Books written about, you know, Han, Free, and Chewbacca from back in the day, which when and Disney got it. It was way more impressive. It was way more impressive, it was. and now it's not canon, so they can make whatever Again, they want. I, I haven't seen the movie, but from what I remember reading in the book about him freeing uh, Chewie, was a pretty dramatic scene. It was a well, and, very and he like, was actually in the navy. He was actually a flyer in the navy. Right, in the and books. this one he had gotten kicked out already. And he was a mud trooper. Yeah, which oh. I like that. I mean, the whole I mean, scene was kind of cool. The yeah. the fight was cool. I'm fine with his rank great. on what everyone's telling me of like how he progresses through the empire and then. But I'm fine with it's all so, that. It's so. I mean, he's he's lippy. It's 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 more that he's lippy and sarcastic than he's an actual scoundrel. You but know? they did take it. You know, they have. 40 years of canon yeah. crammed into a two hour. That's very true. Also, you know. aside from all of what we think, the best review I've seen of this is from Harrison Ford. He, And this is, I think, three days into the movie being released. And mind you, of course, it's Harrison Ford, so he saw it way, way before. before. He's like, I've seen the movie three times. Yeah. He's like, great job. Yeah. And the fact that he's happy giving, with that. Happy giving this guy at least kind of that at least satisfaction. He's a fine cast. I mean, the, the casting had, was was pretty solid. They even put the scar on the album. Yeah, which was kind of cool. <laughs> that's, yeah. all, that's all that matters. Yeah, and, and I mean, there's there's we, a lot we, of good. There's a attention. lot that you can yeah. nitpick. Um, <laughs> what do you want to see from Star? Like, if there's one character from any which aspect of Star Wars, which why we're already on this. They've subject, announced Boba Fett. Boba Fett with 
the uh, producer. I'll go with Fett. <laughs> with the producer and writer uh, of Logan. I have a minifigure on my keychain. Oh, Fett? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Fett's the man. Fett's Fett. And Which would be it. Washington so, State Twin Geek Fest, by the way. I mean, I saw. <laughs> it's a cool Corvette. <laughs> We've all seen it. I got I reminded with, with where this timeline is on Solo with him flying a Tatooine at the end. I'd almost, in, the, in a Fett movie, I almost want to see Cad Bane. Ooh, yeah. And the reins yes. off because Cad Bane I was gonna t- from touch Clone on that. Wars, yes. with with oh. young Boba in the gang, even yes. there's there there's some love to to see just more of the bounty hunters in general mm-hmm. being swashbuckler. Yeah. And I think it'd be cool to have Daniel throat. Logan play Fett. Um, he was at Lilac, and that was his thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, "What are you doing?" He's like. Well, when I was in New Zealand, and they're like, no, 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 we don't care. <laughs> Are you going to be in the new Fett? And he's like, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I was the last one to play Fett, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, it would mean, be also cool to see it from a different spin where, like, this is where I come from, you know, all the Star Wars video games, books, everything else, him escaping the Sarlacc pit. And going from there to become a no, 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 Because no. no. they, oh they did God. that. It's in a book. It's got Dengar comes in and saves him, yada, yada, yada. And, and then really it was also, it but then here's the other part from people who, if you only look at the movies, right, from Empire and Jedi, the costume is completely different on film. Yeah. So there's a whole, there's a whole line of people who think that the Jedi Fett was not Fett. He was an imposter. Yes, and that's wait, why wait, he say that again. So r- r- the real Fett Whoa. was in Empire, and then if you look, his his costume is totally different. His blasters, no everything. disintegration. Like yeah, his even, reputation preceded him. Vader right. knew Fett. So when he was there, it was actually more of an imposter kind of thing who dressed. And there's actually a whole line in the story, there comic line of them finding people who are imposters. So oh. when he died, they're like, shit, it's just the other guy. And that the real Fett is actually out there. And and he's actually a partner with. Was Dengar this a, part of the it line could, where they were doing uh, they were cloning the emperor? No, no. Is it could be line? it could okay. be the whole Dread Pirate Roberts thing too. I mean, uh, yeah. Where I'm not the real Boba Fett. The real Boba see, Fett's retired. Yeah, you can Twenty see years. Yeah. yeah so and you watch him falling in. He's like, ah, <laughs> it was Mike that died. Yeah. Just, yeah. just wait for Mike. the very Boba, end. Boba Mike. Boba Mike. Wait yeah. for the very end scene, uh, credit scene where Boba Fett takes it off and Sam Jackson just staring at the camera, <laughs> and then he starts to fade out like an infinity <laughs> like, <laughs> He's just like, I ain't dead yet. <laughs> I, I killed your dad. Yeah, right. He's like, like father, like son. Now I am Sean. you. Like, <laughs> there, is, there is something to say that. But, Turns into a Inception real quick. He just starts giving the whole, the whole uh, Bible verse from... Uh, Ezekiel twenty five yeah, seventeen, yeah. which was my favorite cameo in a Marvel movie. When, when they buried... Uh, uh, Nick, Fury. Nick Fury, they he had, had Ezekiel that. twenty-five yeah. seventeen on his tombstone. But we were speaking all of like, the eggs, there was a there was a Easter egg in Solo when Solo sit in the Crimson Dawn. You look behind him, the fertility god from Raiders of the Lost Ark is sitting on the the show. Oh no way! Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I missed that. Yeah, yeah, you watch it. It's right cool. there. It's the one where you know it's sitting there across. He's got to pull the sand. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. It's the fertility yeah. that's sitting right behind him. That's funny. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's I awesome. mean, no speaking of to- speaking of you know transitions and. Props lying around to throw stuff out I thought you were going to say fertility, sorry. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but, I mean, we can talk nerdy all day. Eventually, we do got to leave you guys to your own thing. One more time, the three shows to go to that we've talked about tonight. We've got Washington State Toy and Geek Fest, June 30th, July 1st in Puyallup, Washington. We got RenCon, September 15th and 16th in lovely Tukwila, Washington at the Hotel in Urban. We've got... Central City Comic Con in Ellensburg, October 13th and 14th. And check them out. Check out the websites. Visit your friendly neighborhood comic dads. We'll try to make them all. We're definitely going to be at Washington Toy and Geek Fest. We're definitely going to be at RenCon. We're working on approval to yeah, go to Central I'm waiting, City. I'm waiting on getting knighted to go to that. Yeah, I shout, out, shout out to D-Pad for letting us film here. Thank you. Thanks, appreciate Steve. It. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, if you guys have Don't. a bit Renton, downtown Renton, D-Pad, second on Wells. Four them. generals right next door if you need a beer, too. Yeah. Oh, and this place is amazing. This is my first time in D-Pad, and as a collector, the Star Wars toys, oh my gosh. I'm glad they're closed right now because I'd be spending money. Yeah. Don't open the register. Seriously. <laughs> that Captain America shield I've been yeah. looking at for like a year and a half now, and I'm just yeah. like, There's lots it's of a replica stuff. shield. Yeah. And I'm like, I need that. There's, I mean, I'm looking over here. 
Judge Dredd? I've never yeah. seen that. Mesco, Hot yeah. Toys, G.I. Oh my Joe's, gosh. See, the Marvel the, Legends, we have it. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. You're, whatever, you're whatever literally seeing just on this top part of, of it. On top of all the gaming for whatever system you've ever wanted to play. Yeah, this one's cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll, Star, this, Fox this, yeah. Star Fox 2 we on got, there. We got we got some all kinds of gaming behind us. Emulating, this. Atari, Nintendo 64, I NES. Bought, I bought my Nintendo 64, my Super Nintendo. How many games do you think I bought? Isn't, that, well, isn't Fox, that how you met Super Emilio? Isn't that how Fox. you met Emilio? It was buying games from Buying yeah. games? Maybe, actually, yeah, I think that was. I, I came in here and I was like, wow, because I, I had a bad experience with another shop of retro gaming shop around this area. I'm not going to say any names. However, Emilio, as soon as I came in, he was like, dude, what you need, what you want. We'll set it up. Walked me through the store, didn't pressure me, and was nice enough to be like, eh, you know, this has a little damage on 10% off. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, 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 oh I'm going to come in here and just break things. And <laughs> no, for community I'm like, standards, I'm like, <laughs> there one is more, integrity. Oh, <laughs> one more, one more on thing. Miles. One more thing. We have our Stormtrooper cleanup coming up with Rencon. Yes. Downtown Renton. Check it out on our Facebook page. One of the pieces on it. our community. Yes. Everybody's Next welcome. Weekend. Next weekend, yes. Everybody's welcome. You don't have to pay anything. No. You don't have to do anything. Help come and clean up the streets of Renton. Yeah, come. It's a free. It's fun. Uh, we're going to have filming this time. We're going to have Community cosplayers. service. You know, yeah, cosplayers with us. The 501st is with us. So if you want to take a picture with a Stormtrooper, they're there with us. Uh, what do we have? Two, three, four stormtroopers, a couple scout we had, troopers. We had four. <laughs> Thank God there's no trees in right Yeah, they yeah. Ooh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's so, Scout happens. troopers. <laughs> but yeah. So check it out. Check out everything. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Comic Dads. We're there on Twitter too, although we're more twits than tweets. But we're working on it. Yeah, we're working on the Instagram, Facebook. Working with that.